Hi my beautiful bubbles, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over some stuff you might not have known was in a Bloxburg part like four or five at this point. I've done this video multiple times on my channel because you guys seem to enjoy these. So if you'd like to check out my previous parts of this, it'll be linked down below in the description. And without further ado, let's just get right into it because I know you guys are here for the juicy information, not a long intro. <laughs> I built this little area on my plot full of things that are kind of hidden, just like little details that maybe new players won't know or even even long-term players like me who have been playing for years. Starting off, this is like a bit of a hack. I made a TikTok about this and uh, it actually kind of blew up because people didn't know about it. But basically, if you have a ramp and have a car, usually it has to be like a powerful car that can get up some ramps because if you use like a tractor, uh, that's definitely not gonna work. <laughs> so we get in our car here and we go up the ramp and then press space while mid-air, the car will stay floating. Like time has just stopped so uh i don't know what this will help you with like i don't know what type of benefit this will give you but i think it's kind of cool so anyways i'm gonna respond to the car one more time try this again so all you have to do drive up the ramp jump out of your car midair and there you go flying cars for you i'll put the tiktok i made on screen now so you can get an idea of what it looks like with a bunch of cars because my friends and i came together took all of our cars from all our different plots and flew them off the ramp might have been a little insurance issue our insurance definitely went up after that <laughs> i guess i'll just leave that car there of course it despawns after five minutes as usual because you know the little thing pops up your screen your car has been towed or whatever it's annoying but whatever so first off i made this cute little scene here kind of decorated all cute but everything here is basically usable or has a little feature that was updated more recently so it hasn't been in game for a while but first off we're starting off with this little umbrella surprisingly you can open and close this and what i love about this is not only that feature but now it looks like a little christmas tree or just a tree in general. So if you're looking for some more like style trees that are probably smaller, there you go. Building hack for ya. Coming in clutch for you guys. You're welcome. You can thank me later. I just think that's really cool. Nice little animation. I love the details Coeptus and Froggy Hops and all the developers put into the game because even though the game doesn't get many updates, they do have a lot of small little details that just kind of make it really cute and like quaint. I love it. So right here we have this little picnic basket, which has been in the game for a while, but more recently they updated it so you can actually press this use button and all the food disappears it's like gone i definitely didn't eat it guys so that's kind of cool i don't know maybe you're role playing maybe you just want a closed picnic basket whatever it may be if you need this there you go there's some new information for you and then along with the food theme we have going here if you eat this grape so let's take it and start eating it you actually pick one grape off the vine at a time and i just think that's such a cute little detail like i know this stuff doesn't have that much importance in the game but i just i don't know i'm a soccer for those little details i don't know i found that one day and i was like oh so wholesome so this wall is not only for decoration purposes we have these little what are these called i was about to call them a binder no a shutter <laughs> what's going through my mind well if you click them and press close they close up and now you can't look through the window and i just think that's so cool for privacy reasons because sometimes i just do not want people staring at me while i'm cooking kids in blocksburg okay sometimes i want to be away from my neighbors so if you're one of those people like me who on sundays cook some random kids they found on the streets these will come in candy for you so you can just open and close your shutters i love it i think that's so cool the animation is nice and then over here we have this little pond it's also not for decoration it actually if you click it the water disappears it's like a drought droughts in california man but yeah there goes the water went bye bye <laughs> so i think that's cool yet again i have no clue what purpose this has like there really isn't any meaningfulness behind this but i don't know maybe for whatever reason you want to make a build with it next we have these candles here and this is more of a build mode hack but you can rescale uh these candles to make them taller smaller whatever you prefer well anyways there you go candles and then also this is super super detail oriented and i'm sure nobody cares but when you turn on and off a candle if you turn it off the flame actually goes away and there's like a little wick right there and then there's a the candle there's no candle very cool this video is just basically paying attention to the tiny little details that they have in game so over here we have a little like cleaning room but basically if we take this laundry let's do our laundry guys i know you guys aren't here for me to do chores that's probably like the most boring video ever but wait give it a second okay we pour in our detergent closes up this might actually take a little bit so uh i'll come back to you when my laundry's done <laughs> Okay, so now that my laundry is done and it's nicely folded, instead of usually putting it away in a dresser or like this clothing rack right here, you can go up to this little iron thing and press use. And there you go. Now you're like ironing your clothes. And this way, you don't actually have to go put them in a dresser or anything. So it 
kind of saves you some time if your iron board is like right in your laundry room. I don't know, maybe you're trying to be time efficient. Oh, you could also just click the X button on your clothes and you don't even have to put them away, but maybe you're a role player. I don't know. So yeah, cute little hack. I feel like some people do that. I definitely knew that, but maybe you're new to the game. Maybe you had no clue that was a feature. What I really want though, not really want, but what I would love to see in game would be a, what are those called? Like clothing hanger racks? No, like the things in backyards. Clothing lines. Yeah, I'd love to see that uh, put into the game where you could like hang up your clothes. Ugh, I just think that would be really cute. Well, next we have these plungers. Uh, you're probably wondering why they're just kind of chilling there. Well, basically, if you click use, you can hold them. You can literally hold them. Like it looks like you're holding a knife. Uh, Maybe you could like go attack people with this. I don't know. I feel like it would be really funny to walk up to someone's house in Bloxburg and be like, here's a plunger. What I want to know is actually, can you like plunge toilets? No, you can't. What a rip off, honestly. But you can take a dump while holding a plunger. I just think this is so cool. Why do I like this the most? Out of all these hacks, I feel like this is one of my favorites because it just looks so cool. It's the closest thing we're gonna get to like a weapon in Bloxburg. So you can go beat up your neighbors with this one. So this next one is actually kind of a money hack, but instead of like the usual Bloxburg currency, you can actually get blocks bucks from this one. And some people might've known about this, but for some reason, even though I've been playing for so long and it's been a game for a while, I did not get the memo and actually did not know about this until today. <laughs> So if we go to customize character on your little dresser or whatever, and you pick an outfit, whatever, whatever. Basically, all you have to do is if you pick an outfit you want, and then you press this little green button, it'll ask you, would you like to buy it? And then you can buy it. And then Bloxburg will actually give you a notification that they gave you one blocks bucks. Uh, and then the more money you're spending, like the more Robux you get, the more blocks bucks you get. So like the other day I purchased a face in a video and then I got blocks bucks like 25 and I was super confused. I just got 25 blocks bucks received for purchasing this item for your Roblox avatar. Huh? 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 Twitter informed me that indeed it's not rare. It's a normal part of Bloxburg. So if you didn't know that, that's pretty cool. Like if we buy some random face here, like let's buy this one. We purchase the face and now we have 12 blocks bucks. So that was 50 Robux goes to 12 blocks bucks. Uh, it's a little bit of a ripoff because if you just want blocks bucks and not the faces or items, you can just buy blocks bucks directly. Honestly, I recommend it because you're kind of getting two birds with one stone. So the next features I'm going to show you is some build mode stuff. So let's pop right into the way. So we have these two squares. Look, they're in love, guys. They're staring at each other all dramatically. They're like, I love you. That's not what I'm trying to show you guys. What I mean to show you is if you take this resize tool right here and you, you know, you resize it, you get the point. You can actually move this and see that they have like little decimals and numbers to see how big you're resizing it. And I feel like this is super helpful for like making stuff even because if you want to resize this to the same size, you could like memorize the size that you made it. So this is 5.65. So I can make this also 5.65. It's very tedious. There we go. Now they're exactly the same size. So if for whatever reason you are super, super like delicate and intricate about your Bloxburg builds, could it be me? If for whatever reason you are, there you go. And then while we're on the rescaling topic, uh, you can also, as I said earlier, rescale these candles. But look at that skinny legend. Man's like seven feet tall. And this guy, shorty. <laughs> Honestly, love the height difference. And then one more thing in the catalog is if you want to like find a certain item if you go over here to the all section and then up here to the top right hand corner where it says search you can literally search anything so i guess um elephant oh there's no elephants okay robot why are there no robots okay let's say i want ketchup there we go i can look up ketchup if you want plants you can look up plants and this makes it a lot easier to find the items you want because let's say you're just like adding a bunch of plants to your build and you're like trying to search the decoration section now you can just look up plants there's plants very time efficient. I don't use that feature enough as I should be because it's it's great. Last but not least, if you are in a Bloxburg neighborhood server and would like to switch back to a public server, instead of just completely leaving Bloxburg and rejoining, you can press main menu and wait through this annoying loading screen. Do, 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 do,
Ooh, there we go. Okay. You can click neighborhoods and then you can press leave neighborhood and there you go. You're gone. You've disappeared. And now you're back. Who wants to be in public servers? Ugh. People. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. I know some of this stuff is like super detailed and intricate and probably doesn't add much to your gameplay, but I love noticing the small little details in Bloxburg. So if you have anything else that you would like added to the series, anything that you know and nobody else knows, please tell me. Send me a message. Leave a comment. I want to know. Yet again, if you'd like to check out the past videos like this, they will be linked down below in the description. So make sure to go check those out. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more and I will see y'all later. Bye my beautiful bubbles!